Good morning, a very cold and blustery welcome back to the channel. As you can see, I'm back in the Lake District. Uh, came back at the end of lockdown a few days ago, and I've done my first night climb in about 15 years, which is brilliant. Um, <laughs> it was an experience. There's something quite surreal about walking through a forest in the middle of the night, effectively, um, in pitch black with a little head torch lighting your way. But I've come to the top of Helm Crag, just outside Grasmere here, and it's fantastic. Um, as you can see, we've had uh, the first of a little bit of winter weather. If I pan around, it's <laughs> just lovely. I mean, it's brilliant. It's, it's, this is what the Lake District is for. This is why we come here, and this is why we go around freezing our faces off in the middle of winter. Um, I'm going to take a quick shot, and then I'll explain it to you, because there's some funny things happening with the light. I've come up this morning because we were kind of promised uh, broken cloud cover, windy stuff, and I thought there's a possibility of some light. And as you can see behind me, I don't know if that's focusing properly, it probably isn't. Um, there's, there's some broken cloud. Unfortunately, I came up here just about an hour before sunset, and the wind was blowing in from the east and it was blowing in some thick cloud cover, but it looks to have broken. There's somebody else coming up behind me now. There's another photographer. So I'll get this done fairly quickly. Um, so yeah, I'm looking to see if I can. I've got two or three compositions in mind. This first one here behind me, I've got the lion and the lamb. As you can see, this is Helm Crag, and that's why it's called the lion and the lamb. And that's facing toward the east where the sun is coming up over behind. I'm looking at F11. I've got about two and a half second exposure and uh, we'll see what we can do. I've got a couple of other exposures in mind here this morning. I'll let you know if they turn out, but in the meantime, welcome back from lockdown. It's gonna be a short one this morning and I'll see you soon. First of all, let me apologise for the sound on this bit. Uh, I didn't have time to grab my microphone just for this section, but I'll explain that in a minute. Um, so, uh, unfortunately, the light didn't really work out very well this morning on Helm Crag. Uh, the sun did break through and burn through in one little corner of the sky for a little while, um, but it didn't spread. There was a thick bank of cloud above it, and as soon as the sun rose through that, the light was pretty much gone then for the rest of the morning. It never came back. Um, I took a couple of other shots, I uh, said I had a couple of compositions in mind. Um, sorry about the traffic noise, again I'll explain this in a minute. Um, so I turned north and I tried to get the, uh, the formation known as the Howitzer in the top left hand corner of this composition and the drama of the Helvellyn range snow captain behind it. But again, there's no light in the sky, there's no light on the hills. It's just a sort of a composition test, really. It's a, it's a nice scene, but it's not a great photograph. Uh, but definitely somewhere I'll come back to and try that shot again, uh, ideally, with some better light. Uh, coming off the hill, I got this shot, which is uh, looking off Helm Crag towards Easdale Tarn, and that's uh, Milk Falls running up towards Easdale Tarn again. I've seen this shot before with the top of the mountains in view and some colour in the sky and some light cast across the top half of the mountains in the sunrise and that's a beautiful shot. I didn't get that again, no light really. So what I did to try and save it was sort of crop out the sky. If there's no colour in the sky, just don't put it in. Um, I've cropped out the sky, there's less of the mountains in the background and I've made it much more about that beautiful S-curve of the river and the waterfall going up to the tarn, which you can just see peeking through, and then that gorgeous russet brown burnt colour in, 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 in the whole of the bracken. It's a little bit of a sort of a bleak, almost kind of abstract scene, but there's enough texture in the hill there to make it a little bit interesting, I think. I'm quite pleased with the shot anyway, given the light. Uh, but that brings me to, uh, to where I am now. There was no light for the rest of the day, I just went for a walk.
lovely walk and I'm driving back home and I'm going up the A66 past Bassenthwaite and for about 10 minutes the light broke and the cloud cover over Skiddaw mostly cleared. Things are happening quite quickly in the sky at the moment. Um, but the light cleared and I looked across as I was driving to my right and I saw the scene and I spun around. I've just had time to pull in on a parking space and uh, just making sure nobody's behind me there. Um, just to pull in on a parking space, grab my camera, left my microphone in the car, run down about 250 yards and find a, an opening here in this hedge row that's along the whole of the side of the lake. I just found this little opening here and I turned around and look what I can see. Those reflections are just gorgeous. The wind is coming and going and the reflections keep on disappearing and coming back again. But I found a spot for about five minutes where there was no wind and the light was casting. The lights disappeared off the top of Skiddo now. Um, but the light was casting over half of it. That, that grey cloud has just blown in. That wasn't really there. That sort of formed or blown in. Not quite sure which one I wasn't looking, but that wasn't really there. There was just some white cloud falling off the top of Skiddo. And this has all changed in about 10 minutes. And it's just fantastic. Um, so yeah, I said in my second video, I think that I did last September, um, have a look for that. I think I'll try and put a link for that in the top corner where I come out on Bassenthwaite um, where the classic shot is this reflection shot. There's three or four ideal compositions to be got here in Bassenthwaite with those kind of reflections. And I, unfortunately on the, the day that I did my second video here at Bassenthwaite, there was n loads of wind and no reflections. I got a couple of decent shots with some light, uh, but I said I'd come back. I got the chance to come back. It was completely unplanned. Total part look. 10 minutes of fantastic light and amazing reflections and beautiful cloud formations. And it just goes to show that you never know what you're going to find as you drive around. Keep your eyes open. Keep your eyes, keep safe, obviously. Don't be pulling in in the middle of nowhere um, and, and blocking up traffic. Don't be doing U-turns when there's traffic coming at you. Um, but I've got a chance this evening to pull in and grab that shot and I'll put it up on the screen for you now. And I am so pleased with the results. Can't tell you. Okay, I hope you enjoy this shot and I will see you next time.